Hello, in this tutorial series, I'm going to show you how you can 3D print um, the product that you designed in Tinkercad on our Flash Forge Creator Pro 3D printers in our school system. Now you can see right here, this is the house that I've been using as uh, basically a model for how to build something inside of Tinkercad. What you're going to want to go ahead and do is click on the object that you've worked on and ensure that the height is zero um, in the air. If you have the object floating in the air, it's going to cause 3D printing issues. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure this says zero on the height and that my house is grounded on the work plane. Now in the top right corner, you're going to go to export and you're going to want to say it's an STL file. So now you'll notice in the bottom left corner of my screen that there is the STL file um, saved uh, for me. Now I'm going to go ahead and left click and drag it onto my desktop and I'm gonna go ahead and close my browser now. You'll see right here, this is the STL file I just created um, from, think, from Tinkercad. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and open MakerBot. Now I have a link to the MakerBot version I'm using, um, and I recommend you use the version I'm using if you have a Mac, or the version I'll have in the YouTube description for Windows. Now, uh, in the top left corner under MakerBot, you want to go to Devices. Make sure your printer is selected to be Replicator Dual. And then under Settings, if you're using the right extruder on your 3D printer, go ahead and make sure that the right extruder is 230 for either PLA or ABS. And if it's PLA filament, make sure it's 70 degrees on the build plate. Or if it's ABS, make sure the platform temperature is 110. I'm working with PLA in my office, so I'm going to leave it at 70. And I've got 230 on the right. And then under infill, this is just how much um, filament it's going to put inside of the object when it 3D prints it. It's density, basically. 10% um, for anything that's a model. You can even get away with 5%. If it's something that needs a lot of structural support, anything from 40 to 60% uh, will be perfect. Um, now, if there's anything that you're printing um, on the part that needs support, such as, I'll show you in a second, any overhangs uh, with nothing below it, you're going to want to use what's called supports. Um, and if there's anything that really needs uh, support, you'll also do a raft as well. So, and right now I have quality as standard. I would leave it there. If you want a really um, high quality uh, part, you can click high. However, on that quality standard, it takes a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I'm now going to take that file that I got from Tinkercad, drag it onto my build plate, and let go. And you can see I now have the house uh, that I designed in Tinkercad. Now what I meant by overhangs, you can see the doorway, when the filament is coming out of the extruder, it may possibly come down a little bit. It, it would do OK, but if you don't want that to happen, that's why you'd want under settings, uh, support enabled. So everything looks pretty good. I've got my settings the way I want it and I'm using the right extruder so it's gray. If you have to use the left extruder for some odd reason, all you have to do is click on your part, go to the eye in the bottom left corner and this is where you can change to left. And when your part turns red, um, when you go to export your file to be printed, then it'll go on the left extruder. If you're using the left extruder, you gotta go back to settings and you gotta make sure you change the left extruder to 230 and you change the right extruder to zero. Um, that's if you're doing that. So I'll go ahead and leave it like that. So this will be printed on my left extruder and I'm gonna go export print file. I'm gonna name this house um, example and then I'm gonna hit save. Now all you have to do once this has been sliced is put the SD card for the 3D printer into your computer um, and drag this file onto the SD card and take it to the 3D printer and select the file name that you called this and hit print. Now the cool part is once it's done slicing, I'll go to print preview. It's going to say this house will take four hours. It's a pretty big house. Um, and then I can drag this bar down and see layer by layer how the 3D printer is going to design and create my product. Now notice it's going to actually only put supports for my name in the back. So it didn't even really need supports uh, for the window and the front. And the program has already kind of determined um, that from the get-go. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and hit close and hit okay. And now if I wanted to, I would take this file that says .x3g house example and put it on the SD card. Um, and then once I put it on that SD card, I can then remove that SD card um, and take it to the 3D printer and start my print. Thank you so much for watching this short tutorial on how to prepare and 3D print your um, object.